All right, in this video, we're going to look at the med dosage metric conversions. We're going to take a step away from dimensional analysis if you've been watching this series of videos up until this point. And this video is kind of a repeat of something I did a while back. The metric system conversions is a video I did uh, several years ago, and it's the same concept, but if you're following this series, I think it's a good point to go ahead and insert it before we start doing further med dosage calculations. So if you haven't seen that video, that's what this video here is for. King, Henry, drinks, Ucky, dark, chocolate, milk. This is the thing that I use to remember it. There are other ways of remembering kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, milli. Here's what's cool about the metric system. I don't care if you're dealing with a liter, which represents volume, a gram, which represents mass or weight, or a meter, which represents length. We can use the same type of shortcut for all of these, even though each of these three measurements measure completely different things. Volume, we're talking about liquids. Weight and mass, we're talking about weight. And length, we're talking about length. Completely different types of measurements. However, when we use the word kilo, we can say kiloliter, kilogram, kilometer. Same thing for all of these up here. For example, centi, centiliter, centigram, centimeter. And the reason why this thing is King Henry drinks Ucky Dark Chocolate Milk, you see how the words are matching up or the letters in each word. So K, Kilo, H, Hecto, Deca, Unit, and the unit. Let's talk about the unit. The unit is a liter, a gram, a meter. And all we have to do is move our decimal according to this King Henry thing. For example, this first one down here, volume, 2.3 liters. We want to convert 2.3 liters to milliliters. So I'm going to write down 2.3. That's what we have, and we have liters, so we are right here. We want to convert this to milliliters. Well, milli is way over here, so let's go one, two, three places to the right. We want to do the same thing with this decimal. We move it one, two, three places to the right. We insert zeros in these blank spots, so therefore we are actually talking about 2,300 milliliters. You have to actually move a spot to count it. So we have one, two, three, and then we move this decimal one, two, three. I had to insert two zeros there. Now your decimal is understood to be right here on the end when you don't see it, but we don't need that in this particular example. Let's move on to a weight and mass problem now. 33.01 kilograms. So kilograms, we are right here, and we want to get to grams. So we're going to go one, two, three. We're not converting to decigrams or centigrams or milligrams. We want to figure out how many grams. That is going back to what I call the unit. How many places did we move? One, two, three to the right. So if we take this number 33.01, let's move one, two, three to the right, which means we need to add one extra zero here. So therefore we have 33,010 grams. Last but not least, let's talk about length. How many hectometers are there in 4,357 centimeters? Centimeters is what we have, and we want to go to hectometers. So now we're going to move to the left. One, two, three, four places to the left. So we have 4,357. We do not see a decimal like we did back here in these first two examples. It's automatically going to be at the right side of that number and let's move four places to the left. Remember, we're going from centimeter all the way over here to hectometer. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Therefore, we have 0.4357 hectometers, and it's good practice to put a zero out in front of that decimal. That way you do not overlook that decimal that is in that particular number. And there you have it, med dosage, the quick way of doing metric conversions. Again, feel free to check out this video as well. It covers the same ideas, just a few more examples for you to practice. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.